believe that was the last stronghold of the Aesir. So, Odin's oppressive ways have finally ended. Are you satisfied? Yes. Perhaps the realms may finally find peace and healing. It does not. Good to see the chimes working as intended. Hello, Radotaskar. Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very root, dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. Well, any questions before you travel on? So were you always a freakishly large immortal squirrel, or...? <laughs> Don't forget handsome. No, I was once a regular squirrel. The same size as these wispy, spectral versions of myself, in fact. I was unremarkable. I stumbled upon the tree near what should have been the end of my life, the victim of a random act of predatory savagery. But the tree, it had other plans for an insignificant creature like me. But I have prattled on for far too long. I will leave you be, Master Kratos. I suppose I needn't take up more of your time. survived bloody Ragnarok. I should think he's as prepared as anyone could be. To survive, yes. But to love. Brother? And Roboda. Does he... Oh. Well, there were certain topics on which I suppose I may have been a touch more approachable. I did my level best to teach him the ropes. Then you taught the boy to woo. To be perfectly honest, brother, I taught him how I wish I'd wooed. <clears throat> I wonder if Sindri will ever come back. Can this place ever feel like a home after what happened here? I never thought I'd miss their bickering. But it's really not the same place without those two, is it? We will maintain it until his return.
Luna. Hi there. I wanted to ask, do you want me to stop talking about your muscles and uh, how you look and stuff? Because it seems like it's making you all wiggly, like in a bad way. It did, but no longer. Oh, okay. So I, so I should stop telling you stuff? No. Oh, all right, handsome. Your beefcake? Now, I know it's hard being here without them, but I'm sure old Brock would be glad you're here. And I'm sure Sindri, wherever he is, would appreciate you tidying up after yourself. Now, go ahead. Hey, Freya. How you doing? I'm fine. On that, madam, we are agreed. What? Oh. Oh, uh, uh thank you. Anytime. We go.